understand. Varicose seals are varicose veins of the testes, one or two testes. So what are varicose veins? What does that mean? In order to understand what varicose veins means, we have to understand first what arteries and veins are like and what the difference between them is. Let's have a look at this sheet. You will see here the heart would be pumping blood into the arteries and the arteries would be ending in capillaries and the capillaries end up forming the veins and then the veins take the blood back to the heart. The effect of the heart pump affects only the arteries so the strength of the pumping you can feel it in the arteries so the arteries have always the blood gushing through them easily if they are in good condition. But then the heart pump effect stops exactly at the capillaries and then there's no power sending back the blood to the heart through the veins other than the movement of the muscles and the effect of the valves present in the wall of those veins. Those valves work like gates. Those gates open for the blood to go up and then close again. So let's suppose that these valves have something wrong with them. So these doors are kind of broken or have bad hinges. So the valves are not working properly. And this means that the blood will droop back or seep back through them. And then this causes the veins to elongate and become tortuous and visible and also less functional. And here we call this varicose veins. Varicose veins can happen in the legs, for example, or elsewhere like around the testes. So actually varicose veins of the testes, varicocele, means that the veins around the testes, the valves thereof are affected in a way that the blood is stagnating there and the blood vessels are tortuous and elongated and looking different from the normal healthy ones. So the problem is that the blood is stagnating there. Here's one big major problem. 15% of men might have varicocele and it might cause no problem at all, but it might also cause complaints like feeling of pain or heaviness by the end of the day. But the major problems that we are concerned about related to varicoceles are two, two things, two aspects. One is the lack of development of the testes. So the testes will remain too small and the function thereof will also be stagnating. Like it makes, uh, when it makes your male hormones, it will be delayed and this will affect your whole development as a young man. And in this case, we will have to seek uh, medical help. The other aspect is that it might be affecting your fertility. So men who, or couples who are complaining of um, delayed pregnancy, we have to check the uh, husband or the man for uh, varicocele problems. One of the symptoms that you could be seeing on the appearance of the testes is the bag of worms image that we might be seeing on the testes. Now, are there any risk factors for having varicocele? Yes, some people believe that wearing very tight clothes, lack of exercise, and chronic constipation might be affecting your circulation around that area. So a healthy lifestyle, avoiding tight clothes, and having healthy bowel movement is very important. Also, sporting. Don't forget to sport as well as drinking enough fluids will help you also avoid developing varicocele. One more thing is that people suspect that the high temperatures resulting from varicocele, but also resulting from uh, using, for example, the laptop on your legs for a long time, this might be 
contributing to the problem and contributing to the problem of infertility. So if you want to avoid that, please keep the computer away from your legs and also try to take colder showers. That will help also avoiding the complications. So the complications are actually infertility and small testes and dysfunctional, therefore. This will affect their functions in the future and your manly appearance in the end. We want to avoid that. The treatment depends on your age and the problem you're having with it. So if you're a teenager, we would like to monitor how good the testes are growing. And this will mean that you'll have to have follow-up on a regular basis with your doctor. Sometimes we will have to do surgery to um, uh, do something with the veins. We actually either embolize the veins or ligate them. In the end, we will have to get rid of the veins that have the problem. This also might be of negative effect on your fertility and the testis function. So in the end, the, the treatment, the surgical treatment also has its side effects, but sometimes we will have to do it in order to avoid other problems without the treatment. Also, the surgical treatment does not guarantee that it will not recur. It might recur the problem and we will have to see another solution for it. So for prevention of varicoceles, my advice to you is to avoid constipation, avoid putting the laptop computers on your lap, put it on a table always, also drink a lot of fluids, do sports, avoid hot showers, saunas, tight clothes, and have enough sleep, that's also very important. I wish you all the best. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.